I'm going to be creating ephemera to go into the envelopes that we made using magazine pages. And I want to create the ephemera based on the color palette of the envelope. So we're going to be creating ephemera by theme and by color. To create the ephemera, I have some pieces that I have already been saving of things that I want to use. This is some packaging from a fragrance sachet that I loved and I think it would go really well with either this envelope or our little garden map as I think the colors go really well together. So this piece I might be using based on the colors for those particular envelopes and based on the theme of the garden and the florals. So the main thing when you're creating ephemera based on theme and color is of course use the same colors that you use to create your envelope base and then go about the theme and find ephemera pieces that match it as well. So for this envelope, since it's about a garden, I'm going to be using ephemera pieces that match the garden theme. So I'm going to start working with the body butter envelope and I'm going to be using more pieces from Willow and Sage as this is exactly the color palette and the theme that I'm going for right now. And I'm excited to have another bundle of eclectic ephemera that will match the special personality of these envelopes. In order to create ephemera that matches the theme and color palette of my envelopes, I went through my magazines and I picked out pages that match the color palette of the envelopes. I'm also going to be going through my scraps and picking out colors that match the envelopes as well. This way I keep the papers and the colors organized and I can just pick up the envelope and work with the papers that I already have selected for it. So this way I have all of my envelopes organized with the papers and magazine pieces that I have selected for each one. This way I just have to grab the envelope and I will have all of the papers and scraps already categorized into each individual envelope by color and by theme. So I'm going to continue looking through all of my scraps and magazines and sort out the colors to coordinate with the coordinating envelope. Lots of coordination, <laughs> lots of coordinating going on <laughs> and selecting, but it's a lot of fun. I went through my scraps and I assembled them into piles. This is more greenish blue, blue, darker blue, purples and yellows, pinks, orange and yellows. I also have a pile of neutral papers and smaller scraps that can go with any of the collages. And then I have big bases. So I have pockets that I have already made, book jackets, book pages, music paper, some receipts, and these are going to be the bases to the ephemera that I'm going to be making and then the accents will be in color. This way it makes it a lot easier for you to focus on one particular color and one particular theme while still using normal creams and browns as your bases and using colors for accents. So now that I have some of my piles organized and made, I need to go through them and start creating the actual ephemera pieces. By working in color coordinated piles, creating ephemera that matches the color and theme of your envelopes is extremely easy. You alternate them by creating pockets and tags of any shape and form and always using a base such as a book page, music paper, craft paper, 
in decorating with your smaller scraps that match the color palette of your envelope. I'm also going to be using pieces of my newest digital ephemera kit in my shop. This is all inspired by envelopes, letter sets, writing papers, labels, postcards, and tags. And since it's already color coordinated for me, I'm going to be taking the full pieces of ephemera and deconstructing them by cutting them apart and using them as decorative elements to create my ephemera pieces. You can start out with already made ephemera and transform it to create your own ephemera that's eclectic, that's beautiful, and that has a double purpose to it as it's beautiful but also functional, which is the best type of ephemera in my opinion. This is a lovely letter set of writing papers and they fit nicely into the envelope. I don't think I'm going to cut up that envelope. I think I'm going to just include it in one of the envelopes as ephemera. I am cutting a magazine into two pockets and then covering up the lower portion to create a double pocket. If I'm working with two similar pockets, I like to change them up and make one a little bit more eclectic than the other. If I'm turning one into a pocket, the other one's going to have a little bit of collage. And with the leftover magazine page, I'm creating a coordinating tag and decorating it with some of my scraps. Hey, I wish you could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight away You don't have to be afraid I'm using some leftover cards and some envelope digitals to create some journaling cards and tags. By cutting them in half, giving them the shape that I need, I will be able to use them as a base to then collage on top of them. Don't be scared to cut into your already made ephemera to then create new ones. Use your envelopes and postcards that you have lying around, cut them in half, you can either use antique pieces or digital ones and transform them by using your colored scraps to then make it something unique and special that originally wouldn't have been there before. Another one of my favorites is using old packaging from stores of simple things that you purchase. This was a fragrance sachet that I purchased from Tuesday morning and I absolutely loved the illustration. I'm not going to lie, the illustration was the main reason I purchased it because I knew I wanted to use it in a project and I wanted to combine it in a way that was both beautiful but also functional. So of course I turned it into a floating tag. <laughs> I trimmed it into the shape of a tag and then also flipped it over and created a little pocket on the back. I'm applying some glue so that I can have a nice background instead of the stark white. I have a little bit of design trimming the excess. And then with the scrap piece, I'm creating the cutest little tag that I can also decorate and add a sentiment on. Using your scraps, your digitals, antique pieces, and even old packaging creates some of the most eclectic ephemera that I've ever made, and it's so much fun to create a paper puzzle of the things that are already on your desk.
So I have just sorted what feels like 50 or more pieces of ephemera, of tags, of pockets, into my eight different envelopes. And what I love is you can most definitely see the color variations, the themes. You can tell that this one has more of a botanical garden theme by the magazine pages and the papers. Then you can go over here and see the purples, the yellows. You can see super colorful here and quirky little illustrations and fonts and sentiments. This one has kind of like a mermaid vibe to it, very blue. This one screams autumn and cozy vibes. This one, very pink floral, kind of like a tea party. <laughs> I have feelings of tea party over here. This one, very lovely blues, like a blue garden. And then this one, very botanical, but with hints of brown as opposed to this one that has more blue. I cannot believe it was this easy to create so many different pieces of ephemera. The only thing that I have to do now is take each one individually and find sentiments and images that pertain to the theme. So for example, over here, I feel like a teapot or a tea image is missing. And the more that you go into this, the more you want to invest into it. Still have a lot to go, but I would like to show you guys how the end result would look like. I have my stack of envelopes and coordinating ephemera. Just seeing the ephemera already made, the basis of the ephemera constructed, makes me want to go through and look for certain images and sentiments to then make the ephemera match the special personality that we created for these envelopes. So for this envelope, the design your own curtains one that I absolutely love, you can see that the colors are green, blue, and white with a hint of brown. And the coordinating ephemera matches that perfectly. For this one, I wanted to do four different variations of a floating pocket. A side pocket here, created a collaged card. This is from the Vintage Envelope Digital Kit that I created. And it tucks perfectly in there from one of the artist papers. And I just use a scrap piece of paper for this side pocket. The other scrap piece of the artist paper, some ledger, created a pocket and then also created a tag to go inside of it. Another floating pocket made out of some of the flow paper from the magazine, folded it, collaged it together, and then also created a pocket to go inside. You can see very botanical on every piece of ephemera. I wanted to make sure there was a little hint of green to go with the theme for the envelope. This one's probably one of my favorites. It's one of the fragrance sachets. Cut it into a tag, made it into a floating pocket. This is from one of my digital kits. And then this is also from the recent vintage envelope digital kit. A little label and a cute botanical tag. And I added some vintage paper on the top just to give it a little bit of an emphasis. And they all fit perfectly and nicely right within the envelope, but I don't want to close it up just yet because I still need to find sentiments to match the tags and the ephemera pieces. That is one of my favorite parts is going through and finding even more special and smaller elements to make the ephemera pieces even more unique. So there is the first set. The second set is a little garden map. For the floating pockets, I use magazine pages, collaged a little snippet from my digital kit, some ledger and then in the pocket I made a tag out of some scraps the scrap piece of the floral sachet and some of my digitals this was honestly just scraps that I had lying around some music paper a hint of wallpaper that was the same as the envelope this is another floating envelope it's a double pocket so here up at the top I have one of the postcards from the vintage envelope digital kit a little wallpaper sample card this was a scrap piece from the fabric sachet, so the same piece from this one, and I just turned it into a tag with some wallpaper. I love this one. I definitely need to find a cute sentiment for that one. This is a tag made out of paper scraps that I had lying around. And last but not least is this beautiful tag with some sentiments and a scrap piece from one of my Christmas digitals. So I absolutely love the colors of this one, the blues and the greens, and they just matched so well and so perfectly together. Love the lavender birds. The ephemera that I created for this one is with three floating pockets, 
This one is a side pocket and then I also added a belly band with magazine pages. So this is from the Flow Magazine, Flow Magazine, one of my printables and then scrap pieces of paper. This is a little wallpaper tag and then this is a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera and then I just used some scrap paper and created a tag and this fits perfectly in the belly band. And then on the back I just added a really cute image of this little tiny sketch as I thought it was really sweet. I need to find the perfect sentiment to add to describe that photo. This is another floating pocket that I made out of magazine pages, some of my digitals, and then this is also part of the vintage envelope digital. Some note paper and it just tucks really nicely into this floating pocket. I love the colors, the blues, and the purples. Same concept as this floating pocket, belly band on the front, side pocket on the side, and then on the back you can add any decoration that you would like. Just a tag made from scraps. And then this was really fun to make, I love these two pieces. This is one of the envelope pockets from my shop where you just take a full envelope, I cut it, and I turned it into a journaling card. I absolutely loved the effect that it had. And this is a little journaling card that I also made and created for this set. And they just tuck nicely right inside of the side loading pocket. I need to create a little bit more ephemera with an orange hue to it. As I have the yellows, I have the purples, the blues, but I need to create some with magenta and some with orange. So this one is still going to be worked on. For body butter, the one that's going to have some beautiful recipes, Here's the floating pocket out of the book page and a little piece of vellum, a tag that I made using some magazine papers. In this floating pocket that was made from the magazine paper, I have one of the writing papers from the Vintage Envelope Digital. This journaling card is also from that one and I just backed it up with some peach paper. Another fall tag, I love this one with the sunflowers and then I just added some French paper, a little bit of piano paper on the top. And then this is from some Tim Holtz ephemera, wallpaper, and a scrap piece of Edith Holden book pages. I love the colors. I wanted to have some blues, some yellows, and some orange, and a hint of green. And you can definitely see that with the ephemera that we created for this particular envelope. This one reminds me of the ocean. I love this one. Three different types of floating pockets. One as like one of my happy pockets, a tag floating pocket, and then just a very simple mini pocket. In this one, I have two elements from my digital kit, the postcard set, as well as this tag that says, follow your words, they know the way. I think this is perfect for the sentiment on the envelope. And it just tucks really nicely into the top pocket. And then on the bottom, I have the other side of that envelope that we cut in half just as a journaling card. And then I just have a little mini tag made from one of the letter sets from the digital as well. You can use the letter as an actual letter to put into your journal just as decoration or you can cut it individually and use it to create tags or ephemera pieces. And the great thing is you can continuously print it out to use for whatever project you would like. This is from one of the magazine pages. If you see closely, this is like an olive oil container, but when you combine it with the right ephemera and the colors, you completely give it a brand new purpose and you would never tell that that's what it was. Especially if you add sentiments on here, you give it a brand new purpose. This is a tag that I made, but it also has a little pocket here with some wallpaper, some ledger, and then this, I loved the sentiment, and then I loved the map, because you're trying to find your way to freedom, like you're finding yourself, you're following your soul. I really love the ephemera that I created for this envelope. Here in this little mini floating pocket, I have a label from the digital kit. And then I also have the cutest wallpaper tag. This is the last piece of this wallpaper that I had and I paired it with some really old French paper and it's just lovely. I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favorites. This is definitely the quirky envelope, the field guide for myself. And I was able to put everything in one double pocket. So this is a floating pocket that has a pocket on the front, a pocket on the inside, as well as a pocket on the back. So instead of making three separate pockets, you can combine all of them into one just by folding the paper. This is some writing paper from the digital kit. This is really cute. It's a piece of ephemera made from magazine pages. And then this is the houses that I cut from the Breathe magazine to turn into a tuck spot. 
Then I used an ephemera piece from Tim Holtz. It's very thick, so it's the perfect consistency for a tag. I used scraps for my digital kit. And then this cute vintage camera from the Flow magazine. I just thought it was so quirky. I need to find the perfect sentiment to add to this tag. And it just tucks right in between the houses. I love this way of making a pocket with the illustrations from the magazines and just fuzzy cutting the outline of them. And then I created a tag from scraps and that goes in the pocket as well. And then on the back, created two more tags. This tag is made from some magazine pages from the Breathe magazine as well as the illustrations. I got you with all the little critters and then this is a piece of my digital. This is a floating pocket that I made from the magazine as well an image and then a cute little tag with a ladybug on it. It's a cute little ladybug inside of a picture frame. Super quirky and really cute. For the French rose garden envelope, I decided to create three different floating pockets. One is a mini floating pocket with a matching and coordinating tag. This is so cute. Use the same washi tape and just use vintage papers to create the collage. This is a floating pocket made out of piano paper. I already had that in my collection and I'm pairing it up with a writing paper from my digital kit as well as one of the tags from the kit and one of the collage tags that I made with some scrap paper. And in this pocket I have a beautiful forget-me-not flower turned into a tag and I also created a little belly band to have a smaller tag. The only thing that I need to do to finish up this envelope is incorporate some ephemera that has more magenta tones into it. As I have the blues and the pinks, but I need a little bit of magenta to complete the set. And the last envelope for the love of lettering, I wanted to use blues, pinks, and this one is the cutest little set. Use some magazine paper as the back, some washi tape, and some scraps of paper. And then I used part of the digital for my collage paper set to create a tag. This is from some digitals as well to create another little card. And then this is just made out of scrap paper. This is from my fragments digital as well as pieces from other papers. And that all fits into the pocket and I love the color palette. These three ephemera pieces are also from the recent kit. I used one of the postcards and I cut them in half to create this little tag. This is a tag that comes in the kit that can do some journaling or adding a really nice sentiment on top. And then this is the mini envelope that also comes in the digital. And on the inside I have stored in some tags that I created from some book pages, scrapbook paper. And these are all scrap pieces apart from of course the envelopes and the full digital pieces. All of the paper pieces that I used as well as the magazines are all scraps. I did not go into a new paper pad. I did not go and try to get new papers. This is all from the elements that were already on my desk. And just using them in really interactive and creative ways to accompany the envelopes was so much fun to use and to make. So these are all of the envelopes with their coordinating ephemera. I really hope that you guys absolutely enjoyed this video. If there's one particular ephemera piece that you would love to see in detail, I would love to create a tutorial on anything that you'd like to see. Since I made more than 50 pieces, it's definitely difficult to film each individual one, but I hope that you got a great idea for how to combine your ephemera pieces using specific colors and themes. It is tremendously easy when you organize them into colors and into categories, and obviously the end result is a wonderful pile of beautiful ephemera that you can transform and give multiple personalities to just like you did with your envelopes. I still need to work on these just a little bit more to make them absolutely perfect and then of course I will share with you the finished results and I definitely want to create more little ephemera pieces and turn these into bundles of happiness and joy. So of course until next time I hope that you have an incredible day wherever you are. Sending so much peace and love your way and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye-bye and see you soon.